It's been a long day and you're ready for some chilled out gaming. The kind of gaming where you want some background noise to maybe keep you company. So you jump on Twitch, you scroll through your list of follow channels and you click on a channel that you maybe not been in a while, maybe you're not subbed to. You throw that stream onto another monitor and boot up your favorite game. And then before you know it, bam, an ad. Oh my God, that's loud. <laughs> You frantically click over to that window and turn that stream down. Then you jump back over to your game and the ad finishes and nice. you can't really hear the stream anymore. So you have to go back, turn the stream back up again. I just killed Michael Myers. This might seem like a minor inconvenience to your viewers, but it's your job as a streamer to balance the level of your stream properly. Now let's see why this happens. I spend some time on Twitch visiting channels that I'm not subscribed to so I can watch these adverts and record them in OBS. What you can see is a playback of those recordings with the OBS meters as a visual aid to see how loud they actually are. It's not uncommon for the adverts on Twitch to be sitting at the top of the yellow and even jumping into the red. One advert in particular I found actually maxed out the volume slider all the way to the red. And these are the kinds of volumes that you're competing with if you don't want your viewers to be changing the volume of the stream every time an ad pops up. So what does that mean for your stream? Your microphone is the most important part of your stream and you should be trying to balance your microphone with these levels. When I recommend anyone setting up a microphone in OBS, I always recommend that the microphone should be hovering around the top of the yellow or the bottom of the red. And if you have a compressor set up properly, the compressor will stop you from ever clipping the channel in OBS and fully maxing out that volume bar. The rest of your audio on your stream should be balanced against your microphone. Nothing wants to be louder than this. Depending on what kind of content you stream might change the way that you balance your audio for stream. But for me personally, I have my mic as the loudest source. I have Discord as the second loudest source. Then I have my game and then I have my music. As you can see here, these are my OBS sources. Now I have my GoXLR on a dual PC setup connected to the streaming PC and all of my audio is split using the GoXLR virtual audio devices. You can see from the sliders on my OBS, the kind of level structure that we're looking at to achieve the balances that I was talking about earlier. You can see my microphone is sitting in the top of the yellow, the bottom of the red, and then we work from there to balance the other levels of each individual audio source. For those of you who aren't familiar with the GoXLR configuration and two PC setup, where you have the GoXLR on the stream PC, the BCS is the broadcast stream mix, and that is the audio feed from my gaming PC. Now in this configuration, the slider on the GoXLR does in fact affect the input volume of the broadcast stream mix to OBS. Now it's only turned down a couple of notches, but for my stream, it gives me a good level for the game audio from my gaming PC to blend in with the other audio sources. Right now, you're probably wondering What's compression and how do I set up for my microphone? Well, this is one of those, here's what I prepared earlier moments. I've actually already uploaded quite a while ago now, a video on how to best set up microphone filters for streaming in OBS. The video does focus on using OBS filters to achieve the results that you want. But for those of you who have other software and hardware like the GoXLR or Elgato Wave devices. A noise gate is a noise gate and a compressor is a compressor. They are presented in different ways in different softwares, but the functions remain the same. I'll leave a link to that video in the description and you can check that out in your own time. We cover everything from setting up the gain properly on your microphone to noise gates, compressors, equalization, and noise suppression. So by this point, you might be thinking, can you only do this on a two PC setup? Actually, no. OBS now has some great built-in features that allow you to achieve this on a single PC setup as well. It used to be a plugin for OBS, but now it's actually built in as a beta plugin, but it seems to work pretty well. The plugin is called Application Audio Capture and will allow you to add each individual program as an audio source to OBS. Now you will have to do this for each individual source that you want to add to your scenes. It's also worth knowing that you're going to have to disable any global audio devices that are capturing desktop audio to avoid any doubling of your audio sources. 
If you're new to OBS or just simply not comfortable with it and you feel like you need a full tutorial for this, leave a comment below. Not only is this going to help you balance your stream against adverts, but it's also going to help balance your streams against other streams. And if we can get everyone to balance their volume correctly, then gone are the days where you have to sit there and click through every single stream you have open if you're one of those people that watches multiple streams and adjust the volume so you can hear everything that you want to hear in each of the streams. I know some people are concerned about turning your overall volume of the stream up, but it's so much easier for if people think your stream is loud to turn it down, whereas if your stream is too quiet, people will literally have to go through everything else on their PC and turn it down while your stream is at max volume to be able to hear it properly. And you don't want your viewers to have to go through that whole hassle just to hear your stream as loud as they want. If you've made it this far, you've probably found something at least a little bit useful in this video. So if you have, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, really helps with the algorithm. We're trying to get monetized on YouTube and that'll help us absolutely massively. And if you've got a friend who streams, whose stream is really quiet, you just can't figure out how to tell them, try sending them this video and see if it'll help. Thanks guys.